So tell me, why is this considered a hybrid OR room? So a hybrid OR is a new term uh, that's being used in the surgical community where you bring two specialized groups of teams together to perform one procedure. Because it's a hybrid procedure, you have the surgical component and then you have the cath lab component that, that come together. Um, you, we can do surgical procedures in here. Although we try to do minimally invasive procedures, if the need arises to have a full-on surgery, you can do that in this room. So the surgical standards, the sterility standards, everything is up to the, the OR standards in that respect. Um, the other thing is you're bringing specialties together to perform one per procedure, and that is the true hallmark of a hybrid procedure. I'm not an open heart nurse, so but I rely on my open heart team to provide that that level of support during the case. So it is a true meshing of teams to perform these procedures. You have touched on there's about 18 to 20 people in the room at once. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that are involved in in hybrid procedures. Uh, our first procedures that are being doing in this room are structural heart procedures or, or TAVR procedures. Um, that is where we place a mechanical valve in percutaneously. So the need to split a chest open and put it in conventionally, we do it through the femoral artery. So um, it, it requires surgical backup. That's why the OR team's here. That's why the cardiothoracic surgeon's here. Um, the interventional or the cath lab side uh, deals with minimally invasive procedures already, so that's their expertise in handling the valve. So um, that's how the two teams inter interact with one another. You need a cardiothoracic surgeon present and in the room when the valve is deployed. You need two interventionalists as well as a diagnostic cardiologist to look at the TEB. So there's a lot of modalities going on at once to make sure that the valve is placed in a correct position. 